And when it comes to reaching her dreams, you could say Krista Rabenberg is ahead above the rest. If you would have told this small town girl from Mobridge, South Dakota, that someday she would be on a national television show, she may not have believed you. Fast forward to present day, Krista is living in Las Vegas and is one of the featured reality TV stars on the TLC show My Giant Life. Here's more on her story of success. After TLC producer saw a tweet by Krista a few years ago, they asked her to audition for the show. It was her sparkling personality and stance of six foot six inches that won them over. They asked her to be on the show that features the lives of extraordinarily tall women. For Krista, her life of being the tallest in the class began in preschool when she was a foot taller than the rest of her classmates. I guess I started really noticing when I was probably about nine years old. Um, I remember being in a dance class and <laughs> I'm have just been growing really fast during that time because um, my dance outfit didn't fit one day. That was like the first memory I have of somebody telling me to stop growing. <laughs> and um, it's kind of the first indication that, okay, being a super tall woman isn't necessarily socially acceptable and it's, and it's different. And I definitely did struggle with being, I don't know, taller than everyone else. There wasn't any other tall girls. I was the only one, even in high school and college sports. I, I kind of got the nickname, the tallest woman in South Dakota. So <laughs> that kind of confirmed my, my feelings of being alone, I guess, or being the only one. It was in middle school that the bullying began, when a lot of her clothes didn't fit quite right. She realized that being a tall girl wasn't so acceptable. She then went on to play high school, college, and professional basketball overseas, which originally gave her extreme height a purpose, but she later decided that is not all that she can offer the world. She got a master's degree and became a counselor, and is now making the transition into motivational speaking and even stand-up comedy. She says it's all about accepting yourself and perspective. And for me speaking, I have a lot of my own personal experience on getting to love myself for exactly who I am, you know, height something that's completely out of your control. And I've learned to, I guess, have my differences work for me. And I feel like I have my own personal story to share with people as well as my educational background as well in psychology. She's turning what originally was a negative into a positive. And the humor of what strangers say to her on a daily basis is comedy in itself. Krista's coping mechanism was always laughter. Okay, first of all, what's your name? Hey, Just kidding. No one ever asked me that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just kidding. I, I think where I get my, I guess, my comedy from, or I guess when it started, is, is when people were bullying me because um, I felt that it was easier to just, like, make a joke out of it and because it was, it was a way to not take it so seriously. And so that's kind of how I, I dealt with it, it, people making fun of me at a, at a young age. And so I guess I've always kind of had that comedy filter. I just, that's kind of how I cope and that's how I, that's how I look at life. Cause I don't, I don't think anyone should take life too seriously because too short, you never know what's gonna happen. You might as well have some laughs. <laughs> Krista considers herself a role model for people of all ages and all types of differences. She's featured on season three of My Giant Life on TLC and plans to be featured on upcoming seasons as well. You can catch the show Sunday nights on TLC. And Krista is performing at the Hard Rock Cafe in Las Vegas this month and is hoping to come back to South Dakota for a comedy tour. You could find the link to her website at newscenter1.tv.